Hello bulleteers, in this video you will learn how to change the kick spring of Royal Enfield old model due to which the kick doesn't return back. So for this, firstly we need to remove this kick. Now the gear lever. Once we have removed the gear lever, we need to unscrew these four bolts which holds the uh, first cover of the gearbox like this now we have to open this uh, neutral finder by using a 18 mm wrench like this after removing this neutral finder we have to open this window, small window which is used to put back the clutch cable. Now disassemble the first cover of the gearbox. We have to separate this lever from the clutch cable. Now here we can see that the spring had got broken due to which the kick was not returning back to its position. So to remove this we need to remove this two nuts these two nuts actually holds the gear changing mechanism this is the changing plate of it once we had removed these two bolts this ratchet will come in your hand keep them away and remove this sleeve leave type lever now remove this bolt which holds this return spring once you have removed this bolt like this the kick spring will come out like this now here you can see that this is the broken part of the kick return spring we have to remove it using a screwdriver here is the broken part now i had bought a new kick spring which you have to place on the kick shaft like this mount it on the hole of the uh, kick shaft and the other end to the bolt hole like this and then bolt it to the second cover using a 12 mm wrench now for convenience you can use a screwdriver and push the spring and from the other hand you can tighten the bolt like this and now put back the gear changing sleeve Make sure that you put it on the spring which is behind it and now put back this outer ratchet to its place like this and now this com type gear here like this and at the end this topping plate tight it good enough. like this and uh, then put back this clutch rod I had opened it it makes convenient to tight the bolt now check whether the gears are engaging properly or not before putting back the first cover so from one hand you can rotate the wheel and from the other hand you can change the gears so here the gears are engaging properly here we go now put back the first cover at the time uh, make sure that you attach the clutch cable onto the lever and then bolt on make sure that you use the correct size of the bolts onto their respective holes
now make sure that you also tied them in crosswise otherwise it will bend on one direction and the clutch will not work properly after tightening these bolts put back the window now the neutral finder like this don't forget to put the washer which is beneath the spring of this neutral finder bolt and tighten it gently don't use much effort it should be free and then put back the gear lever and tighten it good enough so that it doesn't slip from its slots and then lastly put back the kick and this also tight good tight it good enough so that it doesn't come back so we are done now thanks for watching kindly subscribe if you like the video